Hey guys, it's Russell from Tropical Vibes. So this morning, I will be um, showing you my uh, crotons and how I grow them outdoors, outside. So normally, you would wanna um, have them buddy up with another plant because they do not like direct light as it will burn their leaves um, from experience I had them outdoors as well a couple years ago it didn't have any shade so during the summer springtime summertime it was literally getting so much light that it actually stunt it its growth so it didn't perform well and so it wasn't <clears throat> It wasn't healthy at all, so I didn't grow it. So now, because it's planted next to the the other tropical plants that I have here, it actually provides it somewhat some shade during the hot summer. It's actually February right now, and where I live is already in the eighties. But um, it gets a lot of intense light. But luckily, this plant provides somewhat sh um, shade for it. And so, it's thriving. This is actually a uh, cutting from the mother plant, which I had planted here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how it looks like when they're outdoors, growing outdoors, and it's, it's, it had grown quite a bit since I had, um, planted it last summer. So that's how she looks like. You can see the different types of uh, variegation the colors vibrant colors really nice and pretty um, so it's like in the morning right now but um the, the summer this this the heat it's already like coming down already next to my cord lines and my um, ginger plant next to some other plants that I have the tropical plants that I grow in the front and my Thai constellation right here they, will, they all live outdoors so so let's go shift to the other side which I will uh, show you the other crotons that I have and they're growing really good they're uh, they're healthy so like I said whatever plant that can provide sheet will uh, definitely be a uh, recommendation if you want to grow them outside see as you can see this monster uh, deliciosa right here it's, it's like climbing this fence but um it provides somewhat sh shade during the direct heat north facing window so that's another one right there so so I was talking about that croton. That was actually a cutting from here. So when I had that papaya tree right there, the fruits were falling on it. And so it would break off some branches. So from that cutting, from that broken branch, I was able to um, literally propagate it. I honestly just stuck it on the ground and it grew roots. 
I didn't have to water propagate it and then now it's growing really good so as you can see this is like exposed to like direct sun now it's like I mean it's still good to still performing really good this, this plant provides good shade too but um, yeah it's grown quite it's actually it was bigger like I said broken branches so crotons outdoors I live in Southern California um, in Toritos California you know how hot it is here zone 9 February it's already in the 80s high 80s sometimes 90s but they do well in here next to my uh, monster deliciosa so back so that's how they look like right there it's my cool time so yeah I'll end the video there if you guys like the button if you guys want to support my channel subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one Bye, guys.